One of the major issues that both divide and bind China and the United States is trade. That was a big focus at the Florida summit between Chinese President Xi Jinping and U.S. President Donald Trump earlier this year. Their meeting launched a 100-day plan aimed at improving trade cooperation between the world's two largest economies. From agriculture to financial services and investment, China and the U.S. want to see growth. And that was center stage in New York this week as a Chinese delegation talked about China-U.S. economic relations with American representatives here at the Asia Society in Manhattan. We took the opportunity to take the heat on the road to New York to hear what key players in this dialogue have to say. Joining me now is Wei Jiangguo. He is vice chairman of the board of the China Center for International Economic Exchanges, and he's a former Chinese vice minister of commerce. Welcome to the show, sir. The United States and China are now engaged in these 100 days of trade talks. It began, of course, when President Xi Jinping was here in the United States, had talks with President Trump. What does China hope these talks will achieve? Uh 通过这个想共同努力达到推动中美经济不断的健康的发展稳定的发展这是我们一个第二个目的第三我们也想通过百日计划能够让美方注意到中方的需求中方的筹取的要求也希望美方能够重视起来第一解决 one of the biggest issues for the Trump administration is the United States trade deficit with China. What do you expect will happen in this particular area? Zhongfang 在整个这个双边的贸易不平衡中我们来减少美方的立场政府经过努力啊，他一定会减少中美贸易之间美方的生产、美方的利差的。The United States Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin recently said that China and the United States should come up with a long-term plan to address trade disputes and should, in fact, enter into a one-year cycle of negotiations to make sure that the outcome of these kinds of talks are put into practice. Is that something that China would like to see happen? I think the United States 
啊，这是呃呃以前呃没有过的啊，两国关系中没有过的，也是其他国家中也没有过的。但是我相信这个呃百日计划能够通过双方努力能够完成，而且不仅完成，而且完成的很好。至于美方提出来啊以后的新的一年的计划，我觉得我们通过双方努力也能够达到。所以我觉得我们应该对呃。美方的所提出来的一年计划，我们都见其成。There was worldwide concern after Donald Trump was elected the president of the United States that the United States could engage in a trade war with China. Is that still a concern for China as the two countries now begin to get on a positive path more towards engagement? 不错，呃，你讲的很对，这个应该讲。呃，在特朗普呃上任之前，呃，大家都有一个担心，就是中美之间会爆发大的规模的贸易战。其实应该看到，这个大规模贸大规模的贸易战对双方都没有什么好处。啊，我明确的、明显的感觉到，就是呃，习近平主席和特朗普总统在海湖庄园会在会面以后，这个。由于习近平主席跟川普总统的啊会会面很好，而且我们他们双方呢啊谈的呃呃非常呃这个呃现实，而且提出很多解决的办法。呃，到目前为止，我个人认为，呃，双方下面的通过几个机制的努力，呃，中美啊这个贸易大战不会再产生。当然，我们也做好准备啊，要防止。可能产生贸易的一些啊问题，但是不会产生。而且我个人认为，也可能这是一个起点，啊，可能会使中美的贸易啊回归到正常的方向，而且是一个健康的发展的互利双赢的方向。这对双方不仅是两国人民、两国有好处，而是对全世界有好处。Minister Wei, thank you very much for joining us. We are going to take a short break right now, but stay with us. Standing by someone with a unique perspective on China-US relations, the former Prime Minister of Australia, Kevin Rudd, is next.